What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Chucky Season 3 Part 2 in this video here today. But we're mostly going to be also going over Don Mancini's comments over these past couple of years and recently today with Variety. And go into a theory of mine that seems to be leading to a versus movie that I know a lot of people would indeed eat up. Not to say that it would be good, but just to start off with what Don Mancini has stated in Variety today, and I also will share my thoughts on that promo package we got of what is supposedly part two, even though I guess we were told they only shot four episodes. It looks like you guys shot a hell of a lot more. But Mancini said today in Variety that there are four episodes to go. Yes, Chucky has the upper hand now, but as you see from the very last scene and last shot of episode four, he is more vulnerable than he has ever been. Chucky is aging and dying. The stakes are completely different now. Lexi, Devin, and Jake's thirst for vengeance is starting to become an adult's thirst for vengeance. As Chucky horribly says when he kill when he's killing Miss Fairchild, I couldn't resist making those kids orphans one last time. That incentivizes them to up their games, which you'll see as the season goes on. Um... He also went on to hype Chucky's midlife crisis. He really has to contend with legitimate new contenders to the throne like Megan and Annabelle. He has to deal with that place for himself in the pop culture world and that's how we really touch the ground with Chucky. We give this off the wall character a crisis that has the sting of real life or of real pain in real life, but it just makes him angrier and you know what happens when Chucky gets angry. Now see, this is where it got interesting even further. Mancini kept on talking about Megan and said this about Megan versus Chucky. I would say, stay tuned. Mancini says, sounding matter of fact, according to Variety. Now see, in the past, he said this about that, about that topic. I haven't seen the movie Megan. All I've seen is what everyone else has seen, and that's very fun. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Okay, so we know he's open to the idea. And we know Mancini has hopes for a universe with Chucky after he said this with Forbes back in 2021. The television show, fingers crossed, will continue onward, but we don't know yet. It would certainly not preclude more movies. We have plans for more. One of the things I've wanted to do over the last five years is to start to build a denser Chucky multiverse over a different kind of media. We have various plans percolating on different burners. So there will be more movies and more TV adventure as well as some other things that I can't talk about. Now, see, is that I can't talk about line that reminded me that if I go in chronological order of his lines from 2021 to now, acknowledging that Megan was also filming during 2021 when he was making those comments and his more recent stay tuned comment from today. How do we not know that Chucky season three and whatever is to come after season three, if we go that far, isn't laying the groundwork to Megan versus Chucky? I mean, Kenan Thompson mistook Chucky as one of those A.I. dolls, which he clearly is. Isn't. So the show kind of seemed to be hinting at this being a possible endpoint for the series. The stage being set with Chucky's midlife crisis, his nasty aging, nasty ass aging, I'll say, <laughs> looming death. And however he inevitably bounces back from it could lead us into Megan versus Chucky. If not now, definitely after Megan 2 releases. Do I think that that project would be a good versus film? Not really, but I think it would be a film I could say is bad but i love it because it delivered what it needed to in the doll fighting department that's not to say that they should just be striving to do that i think you could actually cook up a strong versus film that has compelling human characters with their own struggles while also centering on the looming battle between megan versus chucky i think you could definitely do that you don't have to give us a monster verse godzilla versus kong scenario where the humans are so dull so uninteresting especially if you're bringing in characters we already know and love that should make it a thousand times better if you're doing a versus movie again i do think this could be a film that i could see being bad obviously but still loving it for getting it right when it comes to the doll fighting also going into my thoughts on the second half of season three from what i saw this does look fantastic to me because you guys know i those of you follow me on twitter anyway i missed last night's finale because i was out watching five nights at freddy's something i definitely do regret i should have been at home watching the finale but it does genuinely look like it could be better than part one it looks like what mancini was telling us the season would be so if i don't end up raising my score from 6.5 out of 10 that's fine because that's still a pass for me 
But I like the footage I saw, and I think there is a chance I will inevitably raise it to a seven. I'm just being honest. From what I saw, it looks like they will give us something a lot more tense, suspenseful, and a lot more horrific hopefully in season three part two now if it's more of the same then it's just more of the same you know depending on how it's executed it's either going to shift my score up or it's going to shift it down or it's going to stay the same most likely though i could see it shifting up it depends on how this all goes down with chucky and how they explore this midlife crisis and i guess there will be some acknowledgement acknowledgement of Chucky standing in pop culture as it pertains to these new contenders like Megan and Annabelle as Mancini highlighted so I'll see how that even falls into the story will Megan actually be mentioned in part two but do you guys think that the show is actively also laying the groundwork for Chucky versus Megan do you think that would be a worthy crossover film you would like to see do you think Megan is a worthy opponent for Chucky in re in reality if we're being honest the real question is is Chucky a worthy opponent for Megan Megan's the one who has the advantage. I'm just being quite honest. That's not to say that Chucky wouldn't win and I wouldn't be rooting for Chucky, but I'm just trying to be fair. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.